Hello, my name is Dr. Bones, and I'm here to talk to you about type 1 osteoporosis. What is osteoporosis? Osteoporosis is a disease that thins out the bones of the body and consequently makes them very fragile. Fractures from osteoporosis are actually more common than heart attacks, strokes, and breast cancer combined. Osteoporosis is known as the silent thief because bone loss occurs without any symptoms. It is most commonly when a person breaks a bone that the doctor realizes that they have osteoporosis. So what does type 1 osteoporosis mean? Well, osteoporosis can be caused by many different things in the body, but type 1 specifically means that bone loss is occurring due to decreased levels of estrogen in the body. We will explore estrogen's role in a few minutes. Type 1 osteoporosis most commonly affects women over the age of 50, but men can be affected as well. So let's explore together what type 1 osteoporosis actually is and how we can prevent it from happening to you. Before we can begin to understand osteoporosis, we must firstly examine the bone remodeling process. Bone remodeling is a normal process that is necessary to maintain strong bones. Osteoclasts break down old bone while osteoblasts build new bone. This ensures that all bone is new and strong. Let's examine this process through an example that you may be more familiar with. Let's take a look at a construction site. What do we see there? We see tools, materials, and most importantly, you see construction workers. They all work together to build the building. But we also know that every night, vandals come onto the site and break apart the building and steal the materials. So the next morning, the construction team must repair what the vandals took apart and then continue to build the building. This process of building and taking... So on a construction site, construction workers use steel as their material to build the building. But within our bodies, we use calcium and protein. Now for tools, well, we know that a construction site uses many different tools to help put the materials in their proper place. Well, within our body, our primary tool is vitamin D. And then we have the construction workers. In our bodies, our construction workers are the osteoblasts, and they work hard to build us new bone. And then each night, the vandals come and break apart the building to steal materials. In our bodies, our vandals are the osteoclasts, and they are responsible for breaking apart our bones to release calcium. So you may be thinking, why do we need osteoclasts? Well, osteoclasts break down our old bone to release calcium, which if you remember, is the primary material in our bones. This is important because calcium is needed elsewhere in the body, such as in the blood, to perform various functions. So. Osteoclasts break down the old bone to release calcium so that it can be used elsewhere in the body. So let's review the various components of the bone making process. Our materials, just like steel, are calcium and proteins. Our tools are vitamin D. Our construction workers are osteoblasts and the vandals are osteoclasts. So within our bodies, we have this natural balance between the osteoblasts, who are building new bone, and our osteoclasts, who are breaking down the old bone. This process is what naturally happens in our body and is known as the bone remodeling process. So if this is normal, then what is osteoporosis? Well, osteoporosis is when something in the body acts to disrupt this balance between the osteoblasts and the osteoclasts. So what causes this change in balance? Well, in type 1 osteoporosis, the construction workers, they stop getting paid. And what happens if workers don't get paid? Well, they're not going to go to work anymore. But those vandals, they vandalize for free. So while the construction workers have stopped building, the vandals keep taking the building apart. In type 1 osteoporosis, the money used to pay those osteoblasts to work is estrogen. So when women approach the age of 50, they enter into a stage called menopause. And it's during this time that estrogen levels within the body decrease. So along with this decrease in estrogen, the osteoblasts don't work as hard to build the bone. 
and because the osteoclasts or vandals keep working, the bone becomes very thin, weak, and porous, as you can see here in this image of a bone with osteoporosis. So what can you do to prevent the onset of osteoporosis? But you can talk to your physician about increasing your intake of estrogen, vitamin D, and calcium.